A very warm welcome and thank you for joining our Payung Enafit Information. My name is Fabian Müller and I am the Head of International Sales for Central Europe here at Payung. During this video we would like to give you an inside view to our experiences that we made with Enafit conversions in about 100 hospitals. What does it actually mean, Enafit? What is the difference compared to lure connections and what is it to be aware of when changing from lure connectors to NR fit? Let's start with the most important message to you. You do not have to change anything during punction or catheter placement. The actual handling of the product remains the same. You will experience the same feel during the application when using NR fit products. What does it mean? Enough it? This is quite simple. The diameter of connectors is reduced by 20%. As a result of this reduced diameter, lure and enafit components cannot be connected with each other anymore. The differences between enafit connections and lure connections become quite obvious when we take a look at them. It is clear that the Enafit syringe will not fit a lure needle. Vice versa, will a lure syringe not connect with the Enafit needle? Of course, an uh, Enafit filter will only connect with the Enafit cap, Enafit tubes, or an Enafit syringe. Please also be aware that when you want to draw something into an Enafit syringe, you will always need an Enafit draw-up needle. A lure draw-up filler needle will not work here. There is a special feature for the Sonoplex needle. The Enafit version represents the second generation of this product. The injection tube cannot be removed and the Enafit syringe has to be connected at the end of the injection tube. It holds a huge risk for mistakes if any connector may be connected with any other. There are publications that describe dramatic mix-ups of connections, some of them even with lethal outcome. For example, this has been the case for Robin Rogers, a 24-year-old pregnant woman. In her 35th week of pregnancy, she was submitted to a hospital for loss in weight. There she received uh, enteral feeding. Unfortunately, the tubes were mixed up and the enteral feeding tube was connected to the IV needle. Robin Rogers and her unborn child did not survive this mistake. This is just one of many examples that proves that non-interchangeable patient tubes increases the safety for patients. Also, the World Health Organization ranked the mix-up of catheters and tubes as one of the nine highest risks of patient treatments. Following that classification, and with the objective to avoid or at least to reduce this kind of mix-ups, the ISO expert group started working on this topic and developed step-by-step -step different small bore connectors for the most important clinical applications. Within the regional anesthesia, the ISO standard 80369-6 is applicable for neuroaxial applications. This chapter 6 of the ISO standard covers all spinal and epidural blocks, but also peripheral nerve blocks, fascia blocks, as well as wound infiltration and diagnostic lumbar punctures. Hence, neurologists are also affected by this standard. This brings us to one of the biggest challenges of Enerfit conversions. 
it is very important to define all departments that are affected by such a conversion and all personnel and staff that need to be involved during the process. By now, it should be very clear that Enerfit is not just a topic for purchasing or sourcing departments. For example, if syringes are pre-filled with drugs in the hospital, also the hospital pharmacy could be affected. There are hospitals where it is done like that. Do the Enerfit syringes fit with the compounding or filling machines? What about the plastic vials that sometimes feature a lure connection? Or there might be even bags with a lure connection. Also, they won't fit anymore. Another topic, of course, is the flow of patients through different departments. Will it be possible to use the peridural catheter after it was placed in the labor room also on the ward? Will fitting syringes and closing caps be available? Will perfusion pumps, syringe pumps and PCA pumps connect? What is the process for an internal transfer of patients from one department to another or even a transfer of a patient to another facility? Imagine a patient with a lure catheter from another facility that is being transferred to your hospital. Do you remove the catheter and do you place a new one or do you want to use an adapter for these rare cases? We, as Payung, we supply such adapters, but only if you provide us with a written safety consent. A responsible person will be defined in this form, and also records on the disposition of the adapter need to be kept. Only by meeting this prerequisite, we actually achieved regulatory approval for these adapters. How do you want to deal with blood patches? Aspiration of blood is an intravascular application that will remain a lure application. However, the injection is a neuraxial application. We offer a blood patch set that cover both ends. This set features a connector tube through which the blood may be transferred from lure to the anaphid. If you use a yield when placing a catheter, it is also a little bit tricky. Setting a wheel is a hypodermic application that again remain a lure application. Therefore, you require the following. Syringe, hypodermic needle and aspiration needle with lure connector to set the wheel here on the right side. For the catheter placement, you usually require another aspiration needle, a hypodermic syringe, a loss of resistance syringe, adapter and filter. However, everything comes with an Enerfit connectors. These are all the yellow products you see on the left. Now that the catheter is placed, how do you move on? Do you use a closing cap or a three-way stopcock? Either way, both of course need to be Enerfit. Then there is the question how you operate the catheter. This brings us straight to one of the biggest obstacles, the pump system. No matter if you use a syringe for perfusers, extension lines or cassettes for PCA pumps, availability of these accessories need to be clarified well in time. We offer adapter lines and also perfuser syringes in Enerfit. The success of the NRFIT conversion strongly depends on a detailed planning of all components including closing caps, aspiration needles, spikes and obviously the full range of different syringe sizes. By the way, closing caps are only available either as male or female, not as a combi stopper anymore. It is mandatory to define a detailed quantity forecast for all components and a final date for the conversion. Otherwise, we as Payung, we will not be able to supply Enerfit products. If we don't do this, everything will end up in total chaos. You also will have to think about some more practical things. For example, how do you store the goods in your cart? Here we have an example 
we can see the lure components in the bottom of the card. The yellow NR fit components are stored in the upper part and in between a neutral area which is used for preparation of the products. This will only work if you communicate efficiently throughout your entire organization. Everyone need to know what is NR fit, what will actually be converted, who are the responsible persons, when will it happen and how do I have work with the changed procedures. Doesn't matter if you communicate through your intranet, emails, flyers, posters, roll-ups or anything else. The important thing is that you do it and that all persons concerned receive the information relevant to them and most importantly that they understand the information. In order to support you, we also offer an e-learning tool free of charge. Well, and then the decisive day will arrive, the day when all lure components will be removed and are replaced by NRFIT components. It is best to do that overnight. We all see that such a conversion is a lot of work to do. So the crucial question is, do we actually have to convert at all? Is there a legal requirement or a deadline to do so? We can only say the following. Within the European Union, there is no legal requirement and no deadline. However, as a producer of medical products, we are obliged to develop and to produce our products according to valid and applicable standards. The ISO standard for lure connections for use in regional anesthesia expired already years ago. Therefore, at some point in the future, lure products for regional anesthesia will not be available anymore. But please also consider the forensic aspect. When there is an incident in a hospital involving a patient suffering from a mix-up of connections and the hospital did not use NRFIT products despite they would have been available on the market, then it will be difficult to argue against any claim. Numerous national societies or working groups strongly recommend the implementation of NRFIT. Please feel free to contact us for more information. Well, this is it. And let's hope we covered everything relevant. Please talk to us and all other suppliers well in time before you plan to convert. Our sales representatives, product management and everyone else in our company are here to help you and to answer any question that you may have. I wish you good luck with the conversion and let's stay connected.